I stand before you as the first candidate for Vice President of the United States of South Asian descent. This surveillance footage shows a 71-year-old Asian grandmother violently shoved to the ground, her purse stolen. Living with my family is such a topic. Heals my sadness by crying. These are the young boys and girls. People were killed, and this number is only rising. Growing up in the UK and frankly, I don't know, I had to wait maybe until I was 10 or 11 till I finally saw a brown face on television. India is a, a kind of a exotic country to many. Content is a reflection of society. Immigrant children come to their lands as aliens. They have their own culture. It's not our culture. There's a quote yesterday which came, which is quite funny. If I can speak in Hindi, it says, Padega India or Bhadega America. It's honestly got very little to do with where you were born. It's got everything to do with how you were brought up. Everything exotic which is not there in their country seems to be there in India. You know, all South Asians, they shorten their name. When you are in a particular culture that has a particular set of names, you have to decide whether you want to stand out or you want to blend in. You get sick of people mispronouncing your name, right? Krishna Swami becomes Chris. Ram Swami becomes maybe Ram. Who knows? Prabhakar becomes Paddy. You know, Fayaz becomes Fred. As long as when you change your name, you don't change your culture. A lot of them early on did it to hide their ethnicity. There is a particularity that they give to it. For example, the way in which the person speaks. Accents are constantly made fun of, I don't know why. If society changes, content changes along with. Uh, you know, being connected to your roots is a very important thing for any child. By the way, do you live with your parents? Is that true? Yes. And, and is that common in India for uh, older uh, children to live with their parents? <laughs> It's fine to live with your parents because um, it's also common in India that we don't have to take appointments with our parents to meet for dinner. So. It wasn't that they were, had come here to assimilate themselves, to learn about our culture, to be able to engage with our ethos, our history, our society, our cultures, languages. No, they came here to rule and to loot. It is a country which has many religions. It's a country that has, it's, it's known for its pluralism. It's known for its diversity. You've gone to somebody's country. You consider yourself a guest. That is what the Indian approach has always been. If you go to someone's house, then you will be pleased with it. If they sit down and eat, you do that. If they sit down and eat, you do that. If they have a certain way in which they eat their meals, you follow that. If they make sure that their loo is outside the house, you go outside the house. You, do it. you don't start doing it in their bathrooms, do you? When they go to somebody's place, when they go to another country, etc., they're not interested in conforming to the culture there. They are there to impose their culture. Branded these immigrants, including Indians, as being job usurpers, that these are the people who are coming and taking our jobs away. Sometimes, not every Indian kid is good at maths. Now one has seen, for example, in the spelling bee. Okay. Indians have generally been talking. Then you have some mathematics quiz. Okay. Generally, Indians have been talking. Uh, Indian children, they're very hard working there because they do have a point to prove. I mean, you can't be stupid and be a doctor. You can't be dumb and be a tech whiz. 
there are all kinds of people doing all kinds of things. I mean, Indians go there, they're not only doctors and technologically proficient people, they're businessmen, they run motels, they have car services, they have gas stations, they have shops, they have they have done some fantastic work in Silicon Valley, they have, I mean, they're, they're in every business, they're very enterprising people. They actually asked whether we still have harems. Firstly, we never had harems. Also, you must understand that it's a very comfortable life for us because we travel to work on an elephant and they were absolutely believed that. There was an actor called Peter Sellers, you know, he played the Indian man. Uh, his name was Bakshi and the film was called The Party, it was 1968. And they painted him brown to play a brown man. So you had a white man playing a brown man. Hari Ram Ram. If Indians don't stand confidently. That was when these challenges were coming. But now I think Indians are doing far better. No doubt in suggesting that The Simpsons can never be made today. If somebody went to make something like The Simpsons today, it would never fly. It would never work. There is, there are stories, there are tons of stories waiting to come out of India. And it, it, if, you, if, you, if you think you're not represented, then go make a film of your own. Once people read up and understand, or they are educated by their elders, they will understand that India is a far more liberal, far more uh, progressive uh, culture uh, than the world has ever seen. You have to realize that a lot of the goal of global content is to uh, sell tickets and put butts on seats and get people to watch it. So if there is enough public outrage against a particular type of content, it will stop getting made. Do must start to vote with the tickets that they buy? Um, and there is true collaboration in terms of the stories that we tell that you'll start to see that change. Yeah, certainly one can laugh at it. I mean, every, every, every nationality, every ethnicity, every culture, every religion, every language has its foibles. And I think it's a good thing to laugh at ourselves and allow others to laugh at you. I think we just have to be confident and be comfortable in our skin. As we look beyond the clouds Warm sunrise takes its guard. I hope the last forever. Looking for a sign in the stars. And I wish for the future. The tumbling stones that fall upon us. Shatters like the mirror. And we broke for.